Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Barry Tone, and today guys I'm about to show you a tutorial how to play Persona 5 on your PC. Now this tutorial is basically very easy. All you have to do is go to the RPCS3 website, which I will leave in the description down below. Make sure you guys check that out. And now when you get to the website, you go to the download section. I'm about to do right now and then when you get to the download section you're gonna download for the Windows make sure you guys have a 7-zip or a WinRAR or any compressed opener that can open compressed files because it's gonna come as that so I'm basically gonna download it which is gonna take a couple of seconds Now after it's done loading up, you're basically gonna open it up. You're gonna close it, minimize this, and you're gonna make a a a folder for you can put these files in. All you have to do is go to the left click on your desktop, go to new folder. Name it anything. I name it basically the name of the emulator. So I'm opening this up and I'm just going to drag it. As you see right now, I'm just going to drag it. I'm going to drag this over. Wait a few seconds. And I'm basically going to close it. And now after this, you're going to need a firmware installer, which I'm going to leave in the description down below. All you have to do is just download it. Now, after it's done downloading, you're going to set it up on the emulator. So you're basically going to go to the exe file and boot it up for the first time. Now you're gonna get basically a terms of conditioning or something like that. So you read the guidelines, not show up again, and then you press continue. Now after that, you're gonna install your firmware. which should be in your download section. And after that, click on it. And it's gonna download something again. Now, after that is done, we're going to mess with the configure settings and pad settings. First, we're going to go to pads. I'm going to set up my controller. You can set up up to seven controllers. Obviously, I'm going to set up player one. And I I'm using an Xbox controller. Basically, any controller, like probably like 80% of any type of controller can work on this emulator so since I have the Xbox this is going to be for the Xbox the XI one I'm basically gonna set up my d-pad up here left 
right down now basically save it we gonna mess with the configuration settings all this stuff is good basically the automatic presettings now you can either go OpenGL or Vulkan. Uh, OpenGL is only the the reason why OpenGL is only better than Vulkan's when it comes to making shaders because OpenGL makes shaders faster. But f even though Vulkan makes shader much more slower than OpenGL, Vulkan give you the better performance. So if you're like patient and you don't mind the shaders taking a little bit longer. But you want at the end of the day you will get better performance. I advise you use Vulkan and then put it 16 times. And then you basically save it. But since now you have your firmware set up, your pad set up, and your configurations set up, now you're gonna need the game. Two of the files you're gonna to need to set up the PKG, which is the basic game. It's gonna be in your download section, and then right here the PKG game. This will take about two minutes at max. It all depends on how fast is your PC. Basically, it depends on your processor. All right, we got the base game now. Now you're gonna need one more step before playing the game. You're gonna go to your download section and you basically gonna go to find your wrap file. Right here, my wrap file. I'm basically gonna copy it, close here. Open up my emulator, now you're gonna go to dev hdd0. Go to home right here go to extra data and you basically going to paste now after you do this process you should be able to be playing the game now open up one more time and now this bad boy should be working now And it's gonna load up one more time and then I should be able to play the game. It's gonna take a while first time. Since it's gonna be your first time booting up the game, this is gonna take about like three minutes or four minutes. It's gonna be really long, but like the more you boot it up, the more this process is gonna basically be faster, essentially. So it's gonna be long at first, but after you, the more you play the game, you boot it up, 
it's gonna this process is gonna take much much more faster than what it is right now Alrighty, so now the game should be booting up. It should be booting up right about. It's gonna take a while. Now, now it's finally booting up. Now, at first, since this is gonna be your first time booting up the game, obviously, it may be like kind of slow at first. But the more you play it, the m the better the performance is going to be because basically while you're playing the game, the game is making shader casters, something called shader casters, which is something that that makes the performance better. So at first, it may seem a little bit laggy and slow, but m the more the, m the more you play the game, the better the performance will be. So don't worry about it being slow or laggy or, or whatever it may come s to see when you're playing the game and yeah that's about it if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to leave a like share and subscribe because i'll be doing more videos like this in the future and yeah this is your boy Tone, and i'm out peace